Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Doing good. Thank you very much. Eh, les pido disculpas que he entrado un poquito tarde, pero tuve un problema de inicio de sesión, un problema un poco persistente que se me está presentando. Así que, eh, las disculpas del caso. Ok, um, let's begin. Just give me a moment. Ok, just a second. Okay, I'm going to share the screen with you now. There it is. Okay, um, first I'm going to call your attendance. Just give me a moment so I get that ready over here. Okay. All right, when you hear your name, please let me know. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Estoy teniendo un poco de dificultad ahorita. Mi cuenta. Esperemos que no siga. Permítame un momento. Ok, Braulio Heriberto ya me contestó. Ok. Ok, Carlos Alberto Martínez Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. César Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arelia Riaza Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Elia Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Isabu Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabu Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Y algunos me escriben, Damaris, dice presente. Juan Carlos Maravilla. Esto también. Ok, thank you. Um, Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. You here? Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. 
Luz clara de la O Fuentes. Luz clara de la O Fuentes. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present, teacher. Thank you. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carillas de Cedillos. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to call again those who haven't replied. Y a mi teacher Esmeralda Isabel. Ahorita. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Present. Thank you. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Y más tardecito se va a conectar. Ok, muchas gracias. Sí, así me comentó él. Ah, entonces quería ver si ya, ya había llegado. Ok, pero gracias. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Ok, comenzamos entonces. Ok, here's what we're going to do. Take a look, everybody. Uh, here's a listening exercise will be played in order for participants to develop their skills, uh, their skills and learn to listen for details. Se pondrá un audio para mejorar la habilidad auditiva de los participantes. Este ejercicio les ayudará a escuchar detalles. So what are we going to do? It's a listening exercise 3.13. Let's order. So listening, let's order. Instructions. Listen to Rex and Hannah. Juan Carlos, dígame. Teacher, no sé si me tomó asistencia. Estoy trabajando, pero estoy sí, aquí, escuchando. Aquí está su asistencia. Ya la tomé. Ah, gracias, gracias. Ok. So, listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did they order? Click the right choice. Ok. It's the same exercise we have right here. Listening. Aquí quiero que me digan. ¿Qué ordenó cada uno? Listen to Rex and Hannah order in the restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their choices. There's Rex and there's Hannah. Ok. I'm going to play the track. I want you to listen and then you tell me what each of them ordered. Here we go. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. Can you hear that? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you, okay. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right, one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes, I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm, I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, 
maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay. So um, I'm going to play the track a second time. Let's listen. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right. One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with french fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh. What kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay. What about Rex? What did Rex order? Carla Abigail and then Ruth Marielos. Um, Rex ordered coffee with cream and sugar and a piece of apple pie. Yeah, okay. Rex ordered uh, cream with coffee with cream and sugar and a piece of apple pie. That's correct. You have the chat. Okay, Ali. Okay, thank you, Ali. Uh, what about Hannah? Truth Marielos, what did Hannah order? Hannah orders a chicken sandwich, french fries, iced tea. Yeah, a chicken sandwich, french fries, and iced tea. That's correct. That's what she ordered. Very good. Okay, that's the listening part. Okay, so what are we going to do now? We're going to solve the midterm. Okay, vamos a hacer el midterm juntos. There's the tip, but not the tip. Okay, so uh, this is the midterm. Este es el midterm, ¿verdad? El examen de mitad de curso que tenemos que resolver. The first part is the listening. Listen to the conversations, check the correct information, okay? So information one, the woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. The beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded and the woman thinks Hokkaido is pretty stressful. Okay, uh, we're going to listen to this and then you tell me the answers. Hey, listen to the conversations, check the correct information. One. Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Hokkaido in northern Japan. It was my third time there. Oh, really? I've never been there. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. I love the mountains, and there are some beautiful beaches there. Are the beaches crowded? No, you can usually find very quiet beaches. Sounds like it's an excellent place to relax. Oh, yeah. That's why I go there. Two. Have you ever been to Paris? Okay, so that was the first one. So information one, what is the right answer? Wendy Lisette. The woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. The woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. Let's listen, there's second time, here we go. Listen to the conversations. Okay. One. Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Hokkaido in Northern Japan. It was my third time there. Oh, really? She said, it was my third time there. So it's not the first time. It's a different answer. Let's see, Rebecca Abigail, what do you have? The man had a great vacation in Paris. Let's Julie. Uh, uh, but that's conversation two. We're in conversation one. Excuse me? Todavía estamos en la información uno. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And the beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. The beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. Okay, that's right. That's the answer right there. Okay, very good. Let me find the track there. Okay, two. Number two. Okay, so uh, information two, let's listen to that. Two. Have you ever been to Paris? Yes, I have. I went there last year in July. How did you like it? It's an amazing city. I had a really great time there. And what about this year? Have you taken a vacation yet? No, I haven't. But I plan to spend a week on a beach somewhere, probably in August. Sounds good. Okay, so information two. Ruth Marielos, what do you have? Uh, is the man had a great vacation in Paris last July? July. July. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. The man had a great vacation in Paris last July. That's correct. Number three. Let's continue. Thank you. Three. Can you tell me a little about Barcelona? Oh, my favorite city. It's so beautiful. What should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit some of the wonderful museums there, like Picasso's and Miro's. And you shouldn't miss the Ramblas. The Ramblas? Yes. It's a very long street. You can walk and stop for a drink or a meal there. Sounds great. And when's a good time to visit? Oh, I went there in June, and the weather was very nice. Don't go in the winter, though. It's pretty cold then. Okay. Thanks for your information. So, Marina Esmeralda, what about number three? Is the second one. You show me some of the museum in Barcelona. Yeah, you shouldn't miss some of the museums in Barcelona. That's correct. Okay, thank you, Marina. And the last one, we're going to listen to it. Four. Did you enjoy your trip to Canada? Oh, it was great. What did you do there? Well, I went to Vancouver and stayed there for a couple of days. And then I took a ferry boat to Victoria. I don't think I know Victoria. It's a really nice city on Vancouver Island. It has an interesting harbor with lots of sailboats. Is it a safe place? Oh, yes. And it's not polluted at all. It's wonderful. So, Saul Ernesto, what about information for? What do you have? Saul Alexander? Uh, Victoria is both safe and clean. Victoria is both safe and clean. Okay, yeah, that's right. Creo que llamé el nombre incorrecto al principio. Okay, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, no, no. Saul Alexander, thank perdón. You. Okay, yes, Lozano yes. Calderón. Okay, thank yes, you very yes. much. Gracias. Okay, Adonai Durán presente. Okay, siempre pongamos el nombre completo, ¿verdad? All right. Jaime Adonai Durán. Okay, welcome. All right, so for the next exercise, put the words in the correct order to make sentences, okay? Uh, put the words in the correct order to come up with the proper sentence. Ponga las palabras en orden correcto para hacer oraciones. The first one is, really, Seoul is fascinating city A. Okay, hi, Melanie. Later, one. <laughs> one. Number, number one. one. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Seal is really fascinating Siri. Okay, Seoul is? Seoul is really fascinating, uh -huh. fascinating Siri. Okay. La primera. Okay. So Seoul is a really fascinating city. Okay, it's yes. the first one. Okay, Seoul is a really fascinating city. Thank you. Uh, the next one, uh, Wendy Lisette. Okay. Corémonos, cuando ya hayamos participado, bajemos la mano para que no se acumulen. Uno me da la mano levantada y de ahí ya no puedo ver quién sigue. Okay, uh, Wendy, number two. And Peru, country interesting is extremely. What do you have? Uh, 
uh, letter three, uh, number three, Peru is an extremely interesting country. Peru is an extremely interesting country. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Carla Abigail Aguilar. Number three, me, two, four, is Taipei expensive? Uh, second, Taipei is too expensive for me. Taipei is too expensive for me. Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. Braulio Oliverto. Okay, now we have exercise C. Circle the correct words. Okay, read the sentences and choose the correct adjective. Lea las siguientes oraciones y escoja las palabras correctas. Number one, New York City is very exciting, but it's Braulio. Um, teacher. Uh, yes. Stressful. Stressful. Okay. Yeah. New York City is very exciting, but it's stressful. Okay. Very good. Number two, Ruth Marielos. Okay. Lisbon is an interesting city and it's beautiful. And it's beautiful. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Lisbon is an interesting city and it's beautiful. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you very much. Damaris Isabel. Number three, Tokyo. Tokyo is 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 a safe city. It's crowded. Crowded. No. Tokyo is a safe city. It's crowded though. Okay. Es, tiene muchas personas. Okay. It's crowded though. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. My home in town is pretty boring. It is a very relaxing home and work. However, okay, However. it's pretty exciting. However, okay, very good. Thank you. Number four, Wendy. No, that's number four. Sorry. Next exercise, D. Uh, Wendy, you go first. Complete the sentences with should, shouldn't, or can't. Okay, complete las siguientes, complete las oraciones, perdón, o las frases con should, should not, or can. So, uh, Wendy, you go first. This city, well, can you read it, please? The city can be dangerous at night. You shouldn't stay out too late. You shouldn't stay out too late. That's correct. Very good. Thank you, Wendy. The next one is for Marina Esmeralda. Number two, please. You can travel by subway late at night. There are no trains after midnight. Can you repeat it, please? You? You can't uh -huh. travel by subway late at night okay there are no trains after midnight correct you can't travel the sub by subway late at night there are no trains after midnight thank you carla abigail number three please in hong kong the weather is best in the fall you should go there then you should go there then that's right very good uh next okay letter e match the problem with the advice damaris Combine el problema con el consejo. Number one, a fever. What's what's some good advice for for that? Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. It can work. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Braulio Roberto. Number two, a sunburn. What teacher? Number two, a sunburn. Uh, is. Try this lotion. Try this lotion. That's correct. Very good. Catherine has been okay. Guatemala. Sore muscles. Use a heating pad. Use a heating pad. That's correct. Okay. And number four, a toothache. Uh, Wendy Lisette Carias. See a dentist, teacher. See a dentist. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Very good. Exercise F, complete the conversations. Complete the conversations with bottle, jar, pack, or tube. Termine las conversaciones con la botella, el tarro, el paquete, o el tubo. Okay, the customer says, and this is for Ruth Marielos, okay? What do you have for a cold? And the pharmacist says, take... Bottle of take, um, vitamin C, take one every day. 
take this bottle of vitamin C. Take one every day. That's correct. Very good. Marina Esmeralda, you go with number two. The customer says, can I have something for dry skin? And the pharmacy says? I suggest this jar of hand cream. Apply some every morning. I suggest this jar of hand cream. Apply some every morning. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Wendy Lisette, number three. The customer says, may I have something for a toothache? And the pharmacist says, uh, try to use a uh, hack official toothpaste. No, 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 teacher. Two, try this two of a special toothpaste. Try this tube of special toothpaste. Okay, yeah, that's right. Thank you. Number four, Carla Abigail. The customer says, could I get something for a sore throat? And the pharmacist says. Uh, sure. Here's a pack of cough drops. They really work. Sure, here's a pack of cough drops. They really work. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, the last part is the reading. To tip or not to tip? Is it dejar propina or no dejar propina? So we're going to read this, okay? Because of the time, we're going to do it a bit quicker than usual. So I'm going to read it for you. The word tip comes from an old English slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. People who work in these places often get paid low wages. The salary is low. A tip shows that the customer is pleased with the service, is happy with the service. Sometimes it's hard to know how much to tip. The size of the tip usually depends on the service. People such as parking valets or bellhops usually get smaller tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters and waitresses is usually larger. Here are a few guidelines for tipping in the United States, in the United States only. So airport porters, uh, acomodadores, okay, airport porters or hotel bell hopes. It's one or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. Parking valets, one dollar for parking a car. Hotel door attendants, one or two dollars for getting a taxi. Hotel maids, one to five dollars per night. Taxi drivers, 15% of the bill, more if they help you with bags. Waiters and waitresses, 15 to 20% of the bill. There is no tipping in fast food restaurants, okay, important. Barbers or her stylists, 15% of the bill. When you are not sure about how much to tip, do what feels right. You don't have to tip for bad service. And you can give a bigger tip for very good service. Remember though, your behavior is more important than your money. Always treat service providers with respect, okay? So that's a reading section that we have for this uh, midterm. So there's only one exercise after this and it's this one right here. So you need to identify the meaning of the words. What about the first one, Braulio Heriberto, wages, what are wages? Is uh, regular pay for a job. It's regular pay for a job. That is correct. Okay, very good. It's regular pay for a job. Okay, number two. Just let me check the number. The order of animation. Yeah, number two. Uh, Damaris Isabel. Pleased. What is the meaning of pleased? Happy or satisfied. Happy or satisfied. That's correct. Okay, very good. Number three. Wendy Lisette. Depend according on. to. Depend on means change according to. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Uh, number four, Ruth Marielos. Behavior. What's behavior? A way of acting. 
a way of acting. That's correct, okay? Behavior is a way of acting, good. Number five, Saul Alexander, a treat. What is treat? Tratar de... Act. What is act over, teacher? But if I tell you, I'll give you the answer. All right. Uh, ignore. Ignore. I think it. <laughs> but. Um, let's see, Jaime Adonai. What is, what is a treat? Okay, le leí los labios. Hey. Porque tiene, okay. Uh, act hey, over. Tower. Hey, tower. Act over. Okay. <laughs> treat is tratar. Okay, trata. So it's act towards. Okay. And number six, okay, Marina Esmeralda. Respect. Courtesy. 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 Okay. That's courtesy. Okay, very good. And that's the end. That's the midterm. Eso sería el examen. But now I have an activity for you. Tenemos una pequeña actividad. Fíjese bien. Vamos a hacer un repaso de algo antes de hacer la actividad. Y veamos esto, vamos a ver, okay? So two, neither and either, okay, two and either. Look, she says, I'm happy, I'm happy too. He says, I'm not happy, I'm not happy either, okay? So we use two and either at the end of a sentence. We use two after a positive verb, like I'm happy, I am happy too. I enjoy the film, I enjoyed it too. Jane is a doctor, her husband is a doctor too. Now we use either after a negative verb. You say, I am not happy, I am not happy either. I can't cook, I can't either. Bill doesn't watch TV, he doesn't read newspapers either. What about the next one? Okay, when she says I'm happy, he can also say, so am I. He says, I'm not happy, so she says, neither am I. He says, I can sing, and she says, so can I. So basically, what you have to do, we have a chat entry, okay? We have a chat entry. You say, so, or neither, and then you have to use the auxiliary verb, if it exists, okay? Because the verb be all, can also be the main verb. And after that, you use the subject. So uh, you have some examples. So am I means I am too. So have I means I have two examples. I'm working. The other person says, so am I. That means I'm working too. I was late for work today. The other person says, so was Sam. That means Sam was late too. I work in a bank. Okay, the other person says, so do I. That means I work in a bank too. We went to the movies last night, and then you have, so did we. That means we went there too. And the last one, I'd like to go to Australia. You have, so would we. That means we would too. Now, what about the negative form? You have neither. Okay, give me a moment, please. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, neither am I means I'm not either. Neither can I means I can't either. So you say, for example, I don't have a key. You say, neither do I. That means I don't either. So yo tampoco. Kate can't cook. Neither can Tom. Tom tampoco puede. So Tom can't either. I won't be there tomorrow. You say, neither will I or I won't either. I haven't seen that movie. You say, neither have I or I haven't either. And I'm not married, you say neither am I, or I'm not either. So that's a review on how to do this. So we have completed all of this. Let's see, just let me go to the last part. So a lot of exercises we have done. Okay, so there's this. And I have an activity for you. Tengo una actividad para ustedes, en la que todos me van a participar, okay?
Okay. Here it is. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Tenemos acá una serie de oraciones. Hay 30, de hecho. So, you are going to select a number. The number will show you a sentence. And you have to agree. Para todas, ustedes tienen que decir que ustedes también o que ustedes tampoco. Ok, así que el sujeto siempre va a ser I. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Imagine you choose number one. I have number one here. Daniel lives in Santa Tecla. Usted dice, ah, yo también. You have to answer. Oops. Daniel lives in Santa Tecla. I do too. Or so do I. Voy a llamar por el orden que me aparecen por acá. Uno por uno. Okay, and we start with Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Okay, Braulio, this is your chance, your opportunity. Choose a number. Elíjame un número, por favor. Number seven. Number seven, okay. I didn't like the movie. Uh, hay, dos, hay dos formas, con que me diga una está bien. Um, I I neither um, I neither like the movie. I neither like the movie. Mm, no, sorry, mm -hmm. it's a bit different. The correct form is. I didn't either, or neither did I. Okay. 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 Thanks for your participation. Thanks, thanks, Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. I hear the okay. 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 retroalimentación ahí demasiado. Okay. Uh, Carlos, please choose one number. Uh, number three. Number three. I can't play the piano. Uh... Sorry, Sorry, teacher. There's no problem. Okay, can you put it in the chat? I can't play the piano. Si lo ponen en el chat, también cuenta. Ahí veo algunos me levantan la mano. I'm sorry, <laughs> pero no, no, el ejercicio eh, está basado en la primicia que no podemos elegir la que vamos a contestar. Así que es al azar. But thank you. Ok. Chat. I can't either, says. Ok. Yeah, that's right. You can say I can't either or neither can I. Ok. Neither can I. All right, thank you. Okay, the next one is Carlos Albert. No, it's the mismo. Okay, Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Ah, está en dos dispositivos, por eso es que suena, tiene ese problema de audio ahí. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Here, here. Okay, choose a number, please. Eleven. Number eleven. Emma can speak French. So can I. So can I. You say I can too or so can I. That's correct. Okay, thank you, Cesar. Uh, the next one is Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tovar. Me, teacher. Claudia. All right. Claudia. Um, sigo después de Cesar. 
Bueno, no me salen en ese bueno, creo que van cambiando el orden, de hecho. Vamos a hacer algo. No, en pues lugar, sí, las tengo ahí, ahí, me, ahí después. En lugar de eso, lo que puedo hacer es, quiero ver. Tal vez tomo una captura de mi pantalla. Pero no puedo hacer que aparezcan todos. Ok. Veamos cómo hago acá. Um, ok, veamos. César Alejandro, ok. César Alejandro, can you César Alejandro, are you here? Yes, I respond okay. 11 question. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You responded number 11. Ok. Sí. Creo que es porque tienen la manita levantada, veamos. Sí, 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 sí. Tienen la manita levantada, entonces el orden cambia. Ajá, el orden cambia. Esmeralda, si ¿sí me hace el favor de bajar la manita, por favor. Bye, Javier. Ok, thank you, thank you. Ok, vamos. Creo que ahí sí se va a mantener. Claudia María. Hoy sí. Claudia María. Ay, ya no please? quiero. Ah, ya no quiere. Ajá. El número 10. Num number 10. Ok. I don't work on Sundays. Neither, neither do I. Neither do I. That's correct. Or I don't either. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Tamaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Um, number five. Number five. I have two cars. Uh, I have two I have to cars. Um, um, so can I? So can I. Let's take a look. It is I do too or so do I. Okay, uh, because this is okay. present simple, you have to use auxiliary do. Thank you, Damaris. Okay. Toribel Arelia Riaza Flores, your turn. Pick a number, please. Two. Number two. Sandra loves chocolate. I do too, so do I. I do too, or so do I. That is correct. Thank you, Doribet. Very good. Okay. Okay, the next one is Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Number four. Number four, Alex is from San Salvador. I do too. Okay, again, take a look. Alex is from San Salvador. Okay, let's take a look. The, the correct form will be, I am too, so am I. ¿Por qué? Porque dice Alex is. Este es el verb be, por lo tanto ocupamos el verb be. So am I or I am too. Saúl, do you have a question? Me tiene la manita levantada. A ver si bajamos la manita porque si no se nos desordenan las nombres. Me tiene la manita arriba. Okay, okay thank you. Okay, so Esmeralda Isabel Martinez, Orellana, your turn. Sí. Choose a, choose a number. Eight. Eight. I am not a good dancer. I am not good Eventualmente podría ser una sede de la policía. Neither, neither am I. Neither am I. That's correct. Okay, you can say I'm not either or neither am I. Very good. Thank you, Esmeralda. Herbert Miranda, you're next. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, go with number fifteen. I drink a lot of coffee. I do too. So what? 
I do too, or so do I. That is correct. Thank you, Herbert. Great. Okay, the next one will be Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Um, six. Case. Sorry? Six. six. Number six. I went to the movies last night. Some, so am I. So am I. Are you sure? So do I. So do I. So do I. Are do you I. sure? Are you sure? Yes. Absolutely sure. <laughs> uh, so do I, because uh, how uh, you have sentences in the first sentences, uh, you do present. Okay, let's take a look. I went to the movies last night. I did too, or so did I. You use did because did is the auxiliary of past simple. The verb go is in past form, went. I went to the movies last night. You say I did too, or so did I. Thank you, Isabel. And we'll continue with Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Um, number 12. Number 12. I don't like modern music. I don't too. I don't too. Are you sure? I don't, I don't either. I don't either. Okay, that's right. I don't either or neither do I. Okay, thank you. The next one is Jaime Adonai Duran Hercules. Nine. Number nine. My son can't drive. I can't either. I can't either. That's right. Or neither can I. Very good. Thank you, Jaime. Next is Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodriguez. Number 14. Number 14. I love swimming. Uh, I do too, or so do I. I do too, or so do I. That's correct. Thank you, Carla. Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Oh, yes, teacher. 13, because that's your only option. Okay, Frank doesn't have a dog. I didn't either. I didn't either. Are you sure? No t-shirt. Okay, let's take a look. It's I don't either and neither do I. Okay. Thanks for your participation. There is more. Okay. So, um, Laura Concepcion Menagaray, please pick one. Laura Concepcion Menagaray, estamos por acá? Yes, teacher. Okay. Please pick a number. 20. 20. Susan was late this morning. Um, neither was I. Neither was I. Uh -huh. Is this an affirmative sentence or a negative sentence? <laughs> okay. The answer will be I was too, or so was I. Okay, thank you. Marina Esmeralda Martinez Ramos. Please pick a number. Hi. Which, which, which number? I don't understand. 29. 29, yo y que dijo. Okay. 
Is it, did you choose 29? Yes. yes? Okay, 29. Yes. Okay, I can't run very fast. Can you put it in the chat, please? Hay que hacer algo con ese micrófono. Que casi no se entiende. I can either. Neither. Uh, can you put it in the chat, please? Please, please. I can neither. Are you sure? Okay. It goes like this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I can't run very fast becomes I can't either or neither can I. Okay, thank you for your participation. Okay, uh, Raul Antonio Perez Escobar. Number 18. Number 18. My father went to Australia. I did too. I did too, or so did I. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. Um, Rebecca Abigail Calderon Cruz. 21. 21. Yes. Okay, I like hot chocolate. I do too. I do too. That is correct, or so do I. Okay, thank you. Ruth Maria Lozamaya de Guardado. Uh, 16, number 16. Number 16, okay. I am writing a book. Um, so, do, so do I. Are you sure? Um, no. Wait. Um, okay. Teacher, son los nervios. Vaya, vaya, está bien. Uh, mi caso es el sueño. Ay, <laughs> no. Son los nervios y no el sueño. <laughs> um, so, I, so am I? So am I. Yes. That is correct, because you yes. have to use the auxiliary, and in this case, the auxiliary, it's the verb be. So yes. am okay. I. Thank you. That's it, teacher. That's it. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, Salvador Enrique Palomo Gomez. Diga, teacher. Can you give me a number? Uh, 23. 23. I am not learning Japanese. Neither am I. Neither am I. Let's see. And I'm not either. That's correct. I'm not either or neither am I. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, then you have Saul Alexander Lozano Calderon. 30. 30, the last one. Yeah. My sister loves action movies. I I do too. I do too. That is correct. Or so do I. It's also possible. Thank you, Saul. And then Wendy Lisette Carillas de Cedillos. 27, teacher. 27. I wasn't a Boy Scout. And neither was I. Neither was I or I wasn't either. Okay, thank you very much. That's correct. Bueno, ya estuvo, ya pasaron todos. Creo yo, Okay, I need a volunteer for 17. Uh, 
who wants to help me with number 17? Jaime Adonai. Seventeen. Okay, twenty-four. You choose twenty-four. I saw my mom yesterday. I. I thank you. Mm -mm. No. I don't know. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Sorry. Rebecca, Rebecca Abigail, do you know? Which number? Twenty-four. 24, I saw my one yesterday, I, I did, I, I, I did too. I did too, that is correct, or so did I. Thank you, okay. Wendy Lisette, choose a number, Nine. please. 19, teacher. 19. 19. She didn't read the book. She didn't read the book. And neither did I. Mm -hmm. Neither did I, or I didn't either. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ruth Maria Luz, choose a number, please. Uh, 25. 25. Here we go. I can dance tango. So do I. No, sure? so can I. Sorry, so, can so can I. I. <laughs> so can I, or I can yeah. too. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Carla Abigail. Pick 28. 28. What do we have? My neighbors live in a big house. Um. Uh, I am too. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I live in a big house. I did. You give up? <laughs> I don't know, teacher. Okay, Jaime Adonai, can you help me? No, teacher, paso también. No sé okay, <laughs> okay. Rebecca Abigail, can you help me? I do too. I do too, okay. Yeah, that's correct, I do too. My neighbors live, that's present simple. So you say, I do too. Thank you. Saul Alexander, please pick a number. Me too, 22. 22, okay. I am going to buy a bike. So am I. So am I. That is correct. So am I or I am too. Okay, good. Uh, Fernando Linares, pick a number, please. Um, <clears throat> sorry, teacher. Uh, first, I uh, connect uh, to, I connected now because I tried to to join to the meeting, but the the system is isn't uh, recognize my my email. I think. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for the explanation. Um, twenty six. Twenty six. In twenty six, we have they don't play volleyball. Neither do I. Neither do I, okay, or I don't either. Thank you very much. And Wendy Lisette, the last one is yours, 17, and that is Rose can't speak German. Neither can I or I cannot either. Yeah, I, I oh, sorry. I made a mistake right there. But yeah, your answer is correct. Give me a second. I'll cambiarlo ahí. Ah, I see. Was, well, let's do it. 
which is this one right here. No. Ah, Rose can't speak German. I can't either. Neither can I. That, that's the correct answer. Thank you, Wendy. That is correct. Okay, just displaying all of them. Okay. All right, everybody, we are going to stop right here, okay? Acuérdense que todos los elementos de la plataforma hasta la sección número tres, es decir, la unidad número tres, más el midterm ya tienen que estar hechos, okay? Remember, no class tomorrow because it's Friday, okay? I'll see you again on Monday, all right? So thank you very much and right, uh, take good care. Good night. Bye bye. Good, Good night. night. Good Take care. care. Bye, Take everyone. Care. Bye bye. 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 bye.